Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this, I'm going to be using some air dry porcelain clay by Sculpey. It's a kind of clay that hardens with air. Feel free to use polymer clay if that's your preference. It's pretty much the same result. This is what a new package of this one looks like. I'm going to be using all these tools, my cutter, my roller that has those two ring rings on each side. Those are there so that I can have the same thickness all throughout my clay. My cookie cutter that I'm going to be washing after this. A little container with some water in it and my detail brush. So first I'm going to be rolling my clay and then just cutting two circles with my cookie cutter. Then I'm going to be cutting each circle into four pieces using two of this per earring. So you need four in total if you're going to be making two earrings. Each little piece I'm going to be rolling into a bead and this is how I do it. And I'm going to be doing that in all those pieces. I'm going to be gathering four first gluing them with some water in this kind of clay when you want to add your one piece to another one you just have to add a tiny bit of water too much water will make this impossible to glue less is more with this if you're working with polymer clay you can use that like gooey stuff translucent clay i think it's called to glue this first i'm going to be gluing four and then three and then the one on top and then i'm going to be gluing the three with the one on top with the other four so that when you turn this upside down it looks like some grapes i'm going to be adding two tiny leaves per earring. I'll grab a little piece of clay, turn it into sphere and then just push it like this and I'll be using my cutter. I'm working with the end that is not sharp by the way. Do not work with the part that is sharp like triple check that four times five times just before you make those details. I don't want anybody to hurt themselves because of this DIY but once I have my leaves I'm gonna be gluing them with some water and once this is getting dry I'm gonna be taking a pin and then just pin it. Do you want to do this right after because your clay is still soft and you will lose the shape. With this kind of like air dry clay you have to let it dry for a little bit so that the outside is like hardened but the inside is still soft. If you're working with polymer clay pin it and then you bake it. I'm going to be painting them using this wine purple that I customized myself. I show you how to make this if you like this shade of purple. It's going to be my next DIY. It's going to be on the cards once it's up but yeah, I'm going to be covering the whole thing giving this two or three coats. Then I'm going to be taking this green and this yellow and I'm going to be mixing those two because I just prefer like a lighter or just more vibrant green as opposed to like what it is now. Painting those leaves with my detail brush and just being really careful to just not paint over the purple but if you do so you know you can always go back with the purple and just like erase where you went too far and then I'm going to be taking this glaze cloth by Sculpey so they are nice and shiny and pretty much just covering the whole thing giving this two coats. I'm going to be using four antique silver e-wires. For two of them I'm just going to be removing the rest of the earring cutting that just so that i can have them as like eye pins and that is going to be what i'm going to be gluing with my crazy glue i do have the review for this coming soon and i'm going to be gluing those with my pliers gluing this so that the eye pin is front facing to myself and also just choosing the cuter part to be front facing then i'm going to be opening my other ear wires placing my eye pins through that and then just closing them but yeah guys this is pretty much what this earrings look like i love them i think they are so much fun they are so cute easy to make they are like a settled statement they are not heavy at all i think they are so easy to just wear like you can pair them up with any outfit and i do have the review for the earring stand that i just showed you i love how they turned out i don't think that they are necessarily just to wear for summertime though i think you can wear them all year round having said that it's like more of a summer diy and i just want to share with you this one now before fall halloween and winter and all that just so that i don't have to wait for next summer to share but yeah hopefully you like them as much as i did if so don't forget to give this a thumbs up check out more earrings that I have on my channel and share this thanks so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye